Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about three things that are killing your bat speed, okay? If we can fix these three things, you'll automatically hit better, swing faster, all that good stuff, okay? First thing, the number one bat speed killer for me is being out of sequence using your body improperly okay everyone thinks it's all about you know having quick hands quick hands is bad speed i got to use my body the right way i've got to create some stretch i've got to be able to store some energy if you think about an elastic band i've got to be able to stretch the band so that when i release it i have the band's going to fly further the bat's going to swing faster okay so it's all has to do with your body Okay, we've made a ton of videos on this, but I'll give you a quick little thing and then go back and watch those videos. I've got to learn how to swing in proper sequence. I've got to be able to create some stretch, okay, so that when I get ready to hit and I pull back and I'm in good posture, I'm in around my, my back, I'm in my back hip, and when I start to launch and my lower body wants to do this and my upper body tilts back and launches back, I create a whole lot of stretch and I'm able to swing the bat really, really fast. I'm using my body in the right sequence from the ground up okay my swing becomes a whip hugely important a lot of players do the opposite okay so that's number one get in right sequence use your body correctly okay the second thing is thinking about the path of my bat okay so if I'm somebody that's gonna be down to the ball all right this goes together path of your bat Pushing your swing. We've made videos on pushing your swing before. Go back and check that out. Okay? But if I'm trying to create that by being down to the ball, if I don't have a good path, if I'm trying to use my upper body, if I'm trying to push the bat to the ball there, I'm never going to swing the bat fast. Okay? So we talked about how people think it's quick hands, right? Everyone gets fascinated with the hands, with the upper body, the arms, the hands. Okay? It's not about that. I cannot create a lot of bat speed if I'm going to just try to use my upper body, all right? If I'm going to just push the bat down to the ball, my bat's got to be on the proper path. My bat's got to work the right way, all right? My bat's got to be the last thing that enters the zone. So I cannot rely on just upper body trying to get the bat from A to B as quickly as you can, okay? You hear that a lot too, all right? I want to have a short swing, right? I want to be A to B, that's not going to create good bat speed. I'm not going to get in the zone early either, but I'm not going to create good bat speed if I'm just relying on that. Okay? So, I can't, that's number two. I can't do that. Number three, and this is kind of an easy one, not so much an easy one actually, but it's about being bigger, stronger, faster, working on my body. Okay? Now, if you're not big and strong and fast, you're not explosive, can you swing the bat? pretty well yeah I think I've seen some small players that swing the bat well but I've seen more often than not small players weak players players that don't want to develop their body don't want to be more explosive that can't swing the ball can't swing the bat as fast as they would really really could if they were bigger stronger faster okay and I said it's you know an easy way to do it a lot of players don't want to do it it's an easy decision to say hey I got to go work out I got to be bigger stronger faster but to actually go do it it's harder. So you've got to work on your body. I've told this story before about every year that I got bigger, stronger, and faster that I developed physically, my power went up, my bat speed went up, right? It's no coincidence. There's, there's a reason why when you see major league players are able to hit the ball a mile, so they have great swings, yeah. But they're big and strong and fast. They're older, obviously, also, so they've had years to work on their body. But if you're a player that thinks that that's overrated, oh, I don't need to be, I don't need to be stronger, right? I just need to work on my bats. I just got to work on my, my swing. Absolutely got to work on your swing, but they go hand in hand. You have a really good swing and you're really explosive with your body, you're going to create bat speed really, really easy. Okay? So, super important. Work on your body. Get bigger, stronger, and faster. And the ways, the easy ways to do it, again, I keep saying easy ways. There's, there's no easy way to do it. You've got to be dedicated. You've got to get in the weight room. But... If you stick to major lifts, right, compound lift, you think about deadlift, you think about squat, think about some type of press, think about some type of pull, chin up, you 
just stick to those and then you supplement it with whatever else you want, that will really, really help you get bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive, and your bat speed is going to go way, way up, okay? So those are three ways to improve your bat speed really quickly if you stick to that plan and you really work on those three things, okay? So let me know if you have any comments in the section below. I'll help you guys out. Um, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. Check the link below. We've got a deal going on Plate Crate. Click the link. Type in Antonelli. Get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Uh, also have a link to our Patreon page so you can help support the channel. We'd really appreciate that. And that's all we got. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.